one. So, John, of course, the DA is, I could say, sort of actually leading these talks because you are the party with the majority of seats in these areas. Let's talk about just how difficult it's been to get all of these different parties to reach an agreement. Well, thanks, Shahan. And it's actually been a collaborative effort between all the parties, and it's been a lot of hard work, particularly with the various parties' technical teams. And it hasn't been easy bringing together parties that went and contested an election uh, quite hard against each other and bringing them around a table uh, with all those personalities to be able to come to an agreement has not been easy. And I think the technical team particularly need uh, some praise here. Um, but I think that the significant thing is that these parties have been prepared to put aside petty partisan differences to be able to form a stable coalition, which we now have in Joburg and Chwane particularly. We now have a majority, clear majority, in Johannesburg. We've got an even stronger majority now in Chwane. And we're in a far better position in Ekoleni than we were before. And so we've welcomed uh, the PA, Patriotic Alliance, into the coalition. Uh, and we hope that the stability that this now brings will allow us to start delivering properly and in, in a way which does away with the uncertainty and the instability and focus on how we can get down to business in terms of delivering to the residents in those uh, cities. And can you trust everyone that they won't change their minds at any point, depending on what happens in the future? Well, I mean, you, you never know these things. I think that parties that have signed the coalition agreement uh, is an indication that they're committing themselves to the values and principles of those agreements. Built in, into the agreements are a number of uh, dispute resolution mechanisms as well, where parties, no doubt, will have differences from time to time, but there is a constructive way at both the local and national and provincial level to be able to resolve those disputes. And hopefully we'll be able to demonstrate to South Africans that coalitions are stable because they haven't had a good run in South Africa to date and in majority of cases. And I think that residents are very wary of them and even some in the commentariat have been very wary of them. I think that if we can show that they are a stable form of government, I think in an environment where the ANC has fallen below 50% nationally, I think this is a very good, uh, would be a very good thing uh, for South Africans to see, particularly going into the 2024 elections. All right, let's talk about the Patriotic Alliance, which you say, of course, has joined forces uh, with this coalition. Gayton McKenzie and his party have made some, you know, statements regarding foreigners in the country, in particular in Johannesburg, and have gone out of their way to actually try to, and I'll inverted commas here say, deal with the situation. Where does that lie with what the DA stands for? Well, there's some people in the coalition that would agree with that position. Uh, there's some people who have a different approach. And uh, we were asked about this particularly today by the ENCA journalist and said very clearly that uh, we may have different positions on this particular issue. But what I am very uh, grateful for is the fact that Mr. McKenzie today uh, committed himself to the rule of law and said that he uh, abhors violence. And I think that anyone who's seen some of the terrible violence being meted out to foreign nationals, uh, it is a distasteful sight. And I think it was very good today that Mr. McKenzie committed himself and his party to nonviolence. They're obviously, of course, entitled to their view on, on immigration and how it should work. Uh, we have uh, a slightly different view. Uh, but nonetheless, this shouldn't get in the way of us being able to deliver the nuts and bolts of local government services, water, electricity, sanitation, uh, which knows no, uh, no borders and knows no race or colour uh, and certainly knows no uh, economic uh, differences. Everyone needs water, everyone needs electricity, everyone needs a municipality that's creating a conducive environment for job creation. And that's certainly what the core values and commitments of that coalition are speaking to. How do you hold uh, these parties and their leaders accountable, especially for what many would argue are irresponsible comments that could jeopardize the running of a city, ultimately? Well, obviously, we would uh, encourage those within the coalition to use the dispute mechanisms. There's a, a localized one, a joint caucus, where people should be able to discuss and ventilate 
their different views on the issues. If there's no resolution there, it goes to a provincial dispute mechanism and then ultimately to the constituency oversight group, the COG, which is made up of the national leaders of the parties, uh, who will be able to then determine a way. If there's no future and uh, no, no uh, way to be able to deal with that problem there, we've got an external dispute uh, resolution mechanism which kicks in. Uh, we haven't had to trigger that yet. And I think that a lot of these differences, and, and it's early days. I mean, I'm happy to say that it's early days still. Uh, but it certainly has been very encouraging, the signs that we've seen to date. These parties genuinely know, uh, and it's in their interest as well, that if we don't demonstrate the alternative to the ANC, that their own futures as political organizations could be limited. We have to make these coalitions work, and we have to give people the confidence that they are an alternative form of government that can be applied and will make a difference in people's lives. I mean, you and I know that Gator McKenzie is willing to work with any party. He says it's a business deal ultimately. So it's not about him working against the ANC at all. But I want to move away from him. Let's talk about the signed agreement because you did say it would be public. Has it been made public? Well, this one will be up on the, on the website as soon as we're able to upload it. Uh, all the main parties with signatories there. Um, I think Mr. McKenzie has, has put a signature to it as well. And uh, we would certainly believe him to be a man of his word. And, and we will hold him to that word uh, as he will hold us to the word uh, that we have committed to in terms of that uh, particular coalition agreement. All of our coalition agreements are publicly available. Uh, and uh, certainly on the DA website, they will be uploaded. Uh, but they're available for, for anybody to, to peruse. There's no secrets in them. These are not deals that have been done in a back room. Uh, the, the very, very clearly set out what the objectives are, what the terms are, what the red lines are, and what the lifespan of these coalitions will be. And uh, I think that's as it should be. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it, DA leader John Stianhaisen.